In the heart of Botswana's Okavango Delta, I'm hunting down the truth about an animal with a fearsome reputation. The tigerfish. If they really are man-eaters, I intend to find out. And I think I've just got one on my line. Look at this run, look at this run. <sighs> a savage hit on the lure, savage hit. Right, we have a fish. I didn't see it very good. It just jumped out of the water just then. Didn't see it too clearly. I think it's a tiger fish. Right, I've got a, a landing net there. This toothy fighter is a young adult. Right. So there we go, that's a tiger fish. Why are they called tiger fish? Well, it could be because of the stripes. It could be because of the teeth. And those teeth are, oops, absolute signature of this species. So from the, the gills back, it's, it's this very pretty streamlined fish. And then the head is almost like something out of your, your worst nightmares. So I think we can categorically say now that we're in tiger country. But how many of them are out there? Have they split up into ones and twos? Or could there be a whole pack of them right underneath me? That's a fish. This one is much bigger than my first catch. One very significant thing about this fish is the, the hinging in the mouth. Uh, you've actually got a double hinge there. You've actually got one hinge here, and then you've got a second hinge up here. What this means is that it can open its jaws a lot wider than other fish. As a result, its bared teeth point forwards when it strikes, enabling it to cut large chunks out of animals much bigger than itself. Right, so I think it's time to get this one back in the water. It says it was a, a clean cut, no ragged edges at all. 